Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing this awesome Minecraft 117 starter house and I can't wait to get the starter and yes, the starter. I know it has copper, a little bit of calcite, copper and rods and all that stuff. Trust me, it's starter. It's tiny, right? But we're, let's get the starter. Let's build this thing right now. Block for block. Let's go. And here we go with the block pellet. So I have this separated a certain way so you guys can understand exactly what we're using primarily and for texturing and for roofing. So down here, this is gonna be our main primary block. So we're using deep state bricks, the stairs, the cobbled version, the calcite, diorite stairs, and regular diorite. For texturing, we're adding some tough, some mossy cobble, some moss blocks, and some regular cobblestone. This is gonna be for roofing primarily on the main structure, so spruce and a little bit of dark oak. And then for our tower bits, we're gonna be using a lot of waxed versions of copper and regular copper there for the roof just make sure you use wax if you don't want it to change its state for the chimney we're just using a little bit of stuff right here some stone bricks some cobble and then also this little bit right here is just for extra detailing on the build and here we go with the dimensions everything's all laid out in wool so count out the blocks find yourself a nice spot and we're gonna get this started right now now so you guys get an idea of how this house is actually set up and what the wools mean right here with the magenta and the yellow there's a little diagonal extension for the house this little stone donut here is where the tower is going to pop up is going to go uh, inside and be placed we have a little bit of a wrap around with the light blue and the white right here which kind of connects perfectly with the diagonal and the tower this section that comes out here in the l is just a little front porch that connects everything together the cobble right here is going to be where our fireplace is at the blue and the orange is this little extension which actually connects perfect to this side right here centered to this part of the building and then back here, we have a little uh, other extension that's connected to this main structure, or we could put a bedroom in the back. So to make this easy, we're just gonna be using these blocks for right now. We're gonna texture a lot after because this is a very heavily textured build. You don't have to texture it at all. You can go with a simple basic structure, but to make it easy, especially for the tutorial, let's just use our basic blocks right here. So this is gonna be where the front door is gonna go. So let's actually start right here on this little yellow block. And for this, I'm gonna be using nothing but calcite. So we're gonna go right from this corner and we're just gonna go up by four. So let's go up one two three and four i'm gonna go diagonally this way so one two three and four i'm gonna go four on all of these going all the way down once we get to here we're gonna stop so that's a one two three four five and six going down diagonally i'll add windows and doors after so let's go this way on the side and it's simply just another one two and three diagonally to that and make sure you take it all up by four and then turning this corner now we're just gonna go down one two and three and then take these also up by four like this now turning this corner this section with the blue and the white we're going to be switching it to deep slate bricks so we're just going to go up one and two one and two right here turning this corner we're going to go also one and two one and two for this one we're going to put stairs on top and stairs on top and again we're texturing after adding all the detail bits so we're going to go right on the inside this, this should leave a perfect spot for this little donut so what we're going to do with this one let's switch it up let's do diorite for this and we're going to go right in this corner and just do a little donut like this, leaving a center point right in the middle. And then we're going to take this up right now. So say one, let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine right there. And let's take it all up by nine. Now that that's up by nine, let's go back here to this corner and we're going to continue this line going this way. We're gonna be using our calcite just to get the nice little separation here. We're gonna texture after, but let's go from here. Another one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to take this up also by four to match that one, just like this. Now let's go back to this corner and fill the rest here in. So another one, two, and three, and that should match perfectly, taking it also up by four to that side. So it's looking like this for now. Now right here in the front, we're going to continue with this little L shape, but we're going to be bringing in the deep slate bricks. So we're going to go up one here and two, put an upside down stair right there, go up one and two. We're going to put some stairs down, one and two here go up two again we're gonna go up by two right here turn this corner upside down stair on this section up by two upside down stair here and then up by two right there you bring in some dark oak fences and let's put one here on this side one here and one here in the open gaps and then the bottom we can just fill this out i'm going to be using uh, the cobbled version in the center get our door ready to go i'm going to pop down these two so that's where the door is going to go later on now jumping back over here let's fill in this box frame so for this one we're going to go right on this corner next to that cobble we're going to go up one two three four and five we're going to go one higher than that one 
and then we're gonna go another one two three four five and six up by five as well just like that one turning this corner another one two three four five and six and we're gonna go up again by five another one two three four five and six up by five again and then let's cover this up one two three four five so technically if you have a center point perfectly right there it's just a seven by seven box but right now, just to make it easy, we're just gonna go ahead and fill all this up to the fifth level on all the sides. Now that we have everything up by five, let's go up one more level on this side, which is the closest to the diorite and the calcite. Also another level up right here. We're gonna go up with a simple step pattern, just uh, one less each time. So another five here, another three, and a one. So we're gonna go another five, another three, and another one, just like that. Then jumping back out here, we have a little simple extension. So from here, we're gonna go right in the second one. We're gonna go down one, two, three, and four. Turn this corner, another one, two, three, and four, and then connect these three right there. And this one, we're going up by four. So uh, there's already a one, so two, three, and four. So let's cover up this side here, cover up this side over here, and then cover up this side right here. We're also gonna do the same trick on this one by going one level higher on the back end and then go up another three and another one. So pretty much one level lower than that one. Now let's start working on the roof. Over here, we're gonna be grabbing some spruce slabs and let's place them down on the top bit of these blocks right here. We're just gonna be skipping these two because the chimney's gonna pop out right there. I'm gonna take it all the way around the calcite just like so. And then once we're all the way to this side, we can jump back here and let's continue this line going all the way down and then one on that corner. I'm also gonna be placing some trap doors on the top bits of every one of the slabs we just placed. Could go in any direction. I'm just gonna go straight down like so. Then let's grab our spruce slabs. I'm gonna place it on the top bit of the calcite going all the way down like this. We're gonna stop on this side because now we're gonna be bringing in some dark oak to give a little bit of a change right here. We're gonna take it all the way down like so. And then coming back this way, we're gonna do the same thing. Take it all the way down like this. It's gonna be a little easier for this side because all we're gonna be doing is placing upside down stairs on the dark oak placing some uh, stairs forward, stairs forward like this. And then on the top bit, I'm gonna bring in the slabs again of our spruce, and then we're gonna go every other one like so, and then trap doors in those little gaps here. Jumping back on this side, let's finish the diagonal. So for this one, we're gonna be putting some slabs on the inside level, going all the way around, even here, and then go up one more all the way around. And then from here, we're just gonna cover the rest up. So we're just gonna cover this bit up all the way down, just like so. Now, since we're already here, let's bring in the cobble. I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four. Let's break these two, go up five on that one. I'm gonna bring some stairs, I'm gonna put two there. I'm gonna go up another one and two here, and then another one, two, and three on this side place a stair down. Now for this section of the roof, we're gonna be using a moss block and it's gonna look really cool and overgrown. So really quick, I wanna just replace this top bit here. I'm gonna replace this top bit over here. We'll add texturing to it after. And then we're gonna go up one level at a time, going up just like this with the moss block. And it's gonna look awesome. We're able to bone wheel this and add a bunch of overgrown to it, which is gonna look pretty cool in the end. Now another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some spruce stairs going down from here. One, two, and over here, three. I'm gonna put a trap door on the top bit and one on the bottom here. I'm gonna put two slabs here and two slabs here. We're gonna go one lower on this side and then one lower on this side. Then we're gonna repeat it over on this end. So we're gonna put a stair here, one, two, and three. Double trap doors, one here, one at the bottom. Slab, slab slab and slab, another slab on the bottom edge, and another slab at the bottom edge there. On the top bit, I'm gonna put a uh, slab on top, slab on each corner, and then trap doors in the side bits. Next up, I'm gonna grab some deep slate tile wall, and I'm gonna go on top of every one of these. It could be any of the walls of deep slate. I like this one just because it's a little darker. And then on the top bit, we're gonna be adding some of the lovely copper rod. Now for this little roof, I'm gonna be using some of the copper variant. So I'm gonna use pretty much anything uh, going all the way up. I like mixing and matching, getting some of these cool little gradients going. And it's up to you how you wanna do it. If you wanna do any of these, uh, if you don't have copper available, uh, you can use any kind of stones in here. Before Fine. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side as well, just mixing and matching different types of copper. And it should look just like that. Then on the top bit, I'm gonna add our row of our spruce slabs and then one on each side here and dropping a trap door on top. 
on the outside bit here. I'm gonna be adding some of the trapdoors as well to continue that lining, and we're gonna continue it over here as well. I'm gonna do the same thing we did on that roof by adding our walls and then also our lightning rods on the top bit like this. Now jumping back over here on the tower bit, we're gonna be adding a little bush right there in the front bit, right in the center. I'm gonna knock these two down. I'm gonna place it upside down, a diorite stair there then a dark oak fence. Then I'm gonna actually go up one more level here on the top bit. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So let's knock these two out, upside down stair, fence. I'm gonna do another one here, knock that out, upside down stair, and then fence. Gonna add the bushes as well, all the way around right here. We just can't add to this side, but I will be adding a window that we could right here. And then we don't have to worry about the upside down stair because that's not gonna show and put our fence down like so. It's around this bush right here with some signs of our spruce just to give it a nice little ring around. I'm gonna add a little trap door on the top bit of this section above that fence. Now on the top bit here, we're gonna be adding some upside down stairs and a slab in the center. Go upside down stairs and a slab in the center. Do it again on these sides here. So it should all look like this in the end. Then I'm gonna be placing some of our trap doors of spruce on the corner bits where the upside down stairs are. Now here I'm gonna be placing a mix of the different copper variants all the way around right here. Placing blocks of any kind of the copper bits. I'm gonna be mixing and matching so it looks pretty cool. Nice little texture variant right there. Now from here we're gonna go up by two. Let's go up by two here. It could be any version uh, going up like that by two. Dark oak fences on top of the full blocks here. Trap doors of our spruce in front, right on top of these stairs. Stairs on the top bits like this. Could be any version of the copper. Put any block in the middle, any block on top. Maybe one more on top right there. Trap doors surrounding this top bit here. Place some dark oak buttons here on the top bit. I'm gonna bring back that deep slate wall, put it on top, and then grab a lightning rod and put it on top of that. And there's our tower. Now, before we start texturing, let's add more windows. So I'm gonna go right to the center and we're gonna knock down this little three by two area. I'm gonna go with some stairs. I'm gonna go upside down right here, upside down, but turn it, and then upside down, but turn it right there, looking like this. Same thing on the top. So stair forward, turn this one, then turn this one. I'm gonna get some of our white glass. You can use any color, but I'm gonna go up by two here, two on the inside, two on the inside, and then glass panes on both sides. We have this cool little bay window right there. We're gonna turn on this corner and we're gonna knock down these one, two, and three right here. I'm gonna put some fences, one, two, and three on the inside. I'm gonna use trap doors going one, two, and three on this bit. I'm gonna get a fence gate. I'm gonna open it up right here. It's gonna be a spruce. And then we're gonna place a campfire block on top and extinguish that bit. Turning this corner, we're gonna do the same style, but we're gonna go right here on this side. We're gonna go one and two, one and two. I'm gonna grab our fences, go up on each side here. Trap doors on the side, two and two over here. We're gonna get our fence gate, open these, and campfires on the top bits, and then extinguish both of those. For this back end, we're just gonna do a small window on this corner. Just knock down these two, and then we're gonna go with uh, two fences right there. And then just trap doors on the side like so. For this back structure, it's gonna put one window. It's gonna be right here on the top bit. We're gonna just put a regular white glass there and then trap doors on the side like so. We already have our section for our door. So we're just gonna place a door here and then one on this side and then we can open and close either one of those two. One last thing, we're gonna place a campfire on top here and just surround this in more of our spruce trap doors going around like this. And now the house, it is complete. But now the cool part starts. We're gonna add the texturing to breathe life to this whole house. So step number one, let's go where we have the calcite and I'm gonna go ahead and add some diorite. It could be anywhere you want <laughs> to make it look good, but I'm suggesting maybe going on the lower levels and then working your way up, making the more of the top bits being the calcite, just the bottom bits being the diorite like so. So it looks like that. You can also add wool, you can add concrete powder, the white kind, and also uh, pretty much uh, any kind of the diorite as well. You can use the polished one if you want, but I'm gonna go really simple with it just like that. For the top bits over here, we're gonna do the same thing, uh, but we're gonna be adding calcite more towards the top bit here, leaving most of the diorite to the bottom. We don't have calcite stairs, so that won't be an option to replace those, but that right there is looking a thousand times better right here. We'll do the same thing on this side as well, bring in the diorite towards the bottom and just kind of scatter it going up just a little bit like so. 
everywhere we had these bricks right here of our deep slate i'm going to come back in here and add a little bit of the cobbled version we're going to do it on these same kind of concept we're keeping the more messy blocks which is the cobbled versions to the bottom and keeping the more structured blocks to the top thinking that the bottom gets eroded a little more uh wear and tear happens more towards the bottom than the top the top bits are a little bit more stable but we're going to go like this and it's going to look pretty awesome so we have this look to it let's continue a little bit more on this side and it's you don't have to do exactly where i'm placing it just go with uh pretty much just this style now we can dirty this up and texture it even more i'm going to bring in some of the tough block and we're going to do it almost like uh towards the bottom and mixed in with the cobbled versions just like this a little bit towards the bottom still making it a little bit broken and messy towards this end and we can even mix it towards this cobble of our chimney just like that it transitions perfectly like that i don't want to go too high on the top pretty much right there is a good level so something like this looks pretty good i don't want to really put much here on the white sections we could go a little lower but it's all up to you guys if you want to so something like this would look pretty cool and don't be afraid to take out stuff you already put in another level we can go ahead and add a little bit of the moss block moss i like leaving it towards the bottom because it kind of looks like it kind of went overgrown towards this bit so we can go ahead and bring that in pretty much on any level and again don't be afraid to take out stuff you just added it's all a little bit of a feeling game when you're adding these texture blocks so something like that we can add some i'm gonna add a little bit here towards the white just so it can look like it got all kind of like the mosses went up into it uh, a little bit here towards the white as well and maybe just a little bit down here on this corner we can even sneak some in towards the back end right there we can also bring a little bit of the mossy it goes well with the tough and also with the moss so coming in a little bit like so we do a little bit more on this side bring in some also to that section we can even let some go up here since we do have a moss top for this roof we could definitely see a little bit of moss kind of sneaking into the top bit because it's coming off of the moss of that roof so something like that looks pretty good and don't be afraid to experiment on this one if you want to replace some of these with some more stony stone bricks we can go up like that maybe bring some in like so and it looks a little bit more of a better structure to that and if you want you can add stone bricks to this uh we can add a little bit towards the bottom as well and there we go we got the texturing complete and it's looking way better than how it was playing before now little things you could do to break it up and make it a little bit more ruined is to come in and maybe add some stairs just like that in certain spots it'll give it a nice little bit of texturing also to break up this little flat wall transition from this fireplace we could also add some over here on this side with uh, the uh, the deep slate now the next step of the detailing is up here on this section where the moss is you could come in here and bone me a little bit if you want to make it very simple you should do something like that all the way around it looks really really cool also if you want to add a little bit more you can add ferns to this thing you can add some sweet berries in certain spots just like that and then you can also add some flowers and stuff it's really up to you guys how messy you really want this top bit you can even add some azaleas here which will look pretty cool also so at the end it should look a little like that which looks pretty cool but you can add as much or as little as you want another little bit of detailing is you can add some of this glow lichen it looks amazing it looks awesome you can even bring in some vines here and that'll look pretty cool it might spread a little bit too much so uh, to control it you can put some lichen in between and it won't pretty much occupy those spots you put as much or as little as you want on this build and then last but not least a little bit of bush would go a long way some azaleas some regular ones it really depends on which one you want to add but a little bit of bush looks so so good around here and it'll add that extra bit of detail especially to the flatter spots around the sides oh and how can i forget add a little bit of glow berry action come on look how cool that looks in random spots especially over here where we got these trap doors that could definitely add a little bit to it and it'll look really really cool oh and how can i forget hang your root add some of that too now for the interior it's going to be compact but it's going to be nice so i'm going to go right from this level right from uh this line and just put some dark oak you can go with any block you want spruce will look good too oak anything really and we're just going to cover up this section right to here we're going to get rid of that block though i'm going to be putting a dark oak slab so we can transition going from this section down to this level here for this one, i'm going to continue it by just adding more of the dark oak just oh those are stairs uh, I'm going to be doing full blocks and then to get to this side we're just going to knock down these three bits and then we're going to be putting a little upside down stair of our deep slate right there and then continue this bit and uh oh we got some nice little, little bush in here i'm going to go ahead and cover this part up also with dark oak 
Now from this transition, same thing. I'm gonna go with another door right here on this section. Let's get rid of that bit. And I'm gonna continue putting our dark oak going here. We have this space here. We got this little section and then this bit. Now to get to this tower, I'm gonna go right from here and go one, two, and three. I'm gonna put an upside down stair of our diorite right there. From the inside, we never textured this, so we can go ahead and add a little bit right there. And then go ahead and continue with your dark oak. This can take you up to the tower, which doesn't really have much. You can just get rid of that bit. It's pretty much gonna be like a little lookout point right there. Pretty simple. It's gonna put a trap door on this level right over here. Perfect. So we can go up if we wanted to look around. We got this little spot. We can even have a little light there. I'm just gonna hang a lantern right there for now. It's a little lookout tower. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Put a little ladder to going all the way to the top right over here. It should be good to go. And uh, if anything, okay, it's gonna mess me up. Let's do um, let's do that. <laughs> Perfect. You can add doors to these little transition bits if you want, or you can have it open. If you want it open though, let me give you a little option. You can actually leave this part open over here. Get rid of these two. And then we could put some stairs like that if you want this open feel. You know what? I kind of like this open feel. Let's leave that open so then we can have a door here to the back end, which will be for our bedroom all the way back here. So open space, bedroom. We have the little tower access. We got a little lift off point here. I'm going to get rid of that one and put another dark coat because you can't really see from the outside, but you can from the inside. Now, as far as the interior, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. You can do anything you want with this area, but I'll just show you what I would do uh, if it was my spot. So I'm going to put some storage on this side. So we're going to go one, two, three here. I'm gonna go with three right there. I'm gonna go with some barrels in the center, one and two right on this end. Put a little light on top like this with a little upside down stair here, a little upside down stair right there. Then I'm gonna add more barrels right there on the top. I'm gonna go on this side and go and make a little bit of a workstation. So we're gonna put a stair facing this way, stair facing this way, still leaving room to go around. A little trap door in the center. Place a little double chest on this side, barrel on top, put another little light. We don't want anything to spawn up here. There drop a couple crafting benches right there on the bottom why not and down here it's gonna add a little bit of cyan carpet just for extra details uh, something like that would look pretty good and then tiny storage complete let's jump on this end and this is where our fireplace is at so i'm gonna knock down these bits here go ahead and cover that up uh, you won't really see it but i will know it's there i'm gonna grab some smokers i'm gonna put two down here i'm gonna get rid of these two as well and let's put upside down stairs right here and then stairs facing downwards right there. So we have this cool look to it. We're here I'm gonna have like a mini dining room table. I'm gonna put a barrel though in the middle right here. Then I'm gonna grab a spruce slab, put one on this side, put one on this side, trap door going up on this side, and then a little trap door going up right there. And we can throw a little lamp in the middle so we have a little dining room table. Over here I'm gonna place a trap door right on this bit and then on the top. I'm gonna put a flower pot and a flowering azalea. I believe in bedrock this does not work because then this will get broken. If you're on bedrock, just put a, a slab. That should be fine as well. Put my trapdoor though, it looks cooler. Up here in this little transition phase, I'm just gonna grab another layer of spruce slabs so you can get a nicer bit of detail up here. Then grab our trap doors and bring that all the way down like that. Then right here on top, I'm gonna put a cake and let's put another little flower pot. Then uh, about a painting right over uh, there. That's a perfect one. I'm gonna grab some buttons and put one on each side just for a little more detail. Now over here on this section, I'm gonna grab a note block. I'm gonna place them one on each corner like this. I'm gonna grab a flower pot, put those on the top bits. I'm gonna grab a regular azalea and put those on the top of every one of those. I'm gonna grab a moss block. Let's put it on top of those just like this. Then on the top bit, just for extra bits of detail, I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, moss carpet. We have these nice little planters right there, which looks awesome. Never did any texturing on this wall, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit here. Why not, just to add that detail. There we go, that looks awesome. Now back here, I'm gonna add some of our candles. I'm gonna get the light blue one, turn that on, and then just put a nice little seat over here. So I'm just gonna go with the seat right there. On this side, we can go ahead and add some more um, actual function. Let's put some upside down stairs instead. And we can put a little bit of a brewing stand. Let's put actually on these two, let's get rid of the middle. And let's add a little cauldron over there. So we have a little brewing station. Up here, we can do a little bit of a shelf. So right here on the uh, top bit of this section, it should go right next to that line we can add just a little bit more stores. So maybe just a chest, like a little barrel right there, and a little flower pot, and how about another light right there on the side? That would look pretty cool. Pretty much put anything on this flower pot, I'm just gonna go with a plant like that. For the ceiling details, I'm gonna go with a simple stair on each side, just like this. 
Uh, for this one, I'm also going to go with another stair on each side. And then right at the top, I'm going to go with a slab on the top level, like so. And then a trap door underneath. Right in the top here, I'm going to add a glowing item frame. And let's put a clock in the middle right there. In the center, just to add even more, how about we add this little light blue carpet that goes right down the center like this. And maybe just get rid of the middle section. Go with some green carpet to match all the green we have around here. Might add a little bit of root right here on the top bit just for more details we can even add a little bit of glowberry action right here maybe and then put a little string there just so it doesn't go all the way down uh, i think that'll be cool one more over here wait it's not glowing no it's better now for the last room over here is our bedroom we're gonna go with a simple orange bed there on the side uh let's go ahead and put a uh composter right here on top and let's add a couple of those flowering azaleas i'm gonna go with two barrels here let's go with some trap door kind of lined up there at the top uh, we can go ahead and add even more details up here. Maybe like a little barrel on one side. Maybe a couple chests. A little chest down here. Let's add a lantern on the corner. Uh, on this side, we can go with... Uh, let's go with another barrel facing upwards, though. And then up here, I'm going to be adding uh, this an armor stand. Let's add uh, the most underrated armor in the game. Let's put some chain mail. Why not? Let's go with some more carpet. Let's go with some white one down here. Let's go with a painting here on the side. That one. That's a nice one. And let's go with some candles up top. Let's go with some purple ones. That looks pretty cool. And light that up. Nice. And there it is. All complete. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love this house. Let me know if you guys do build it. Send me pictures. Either on Twitter, Discord, Instagram. I would love to see if you added this build in your world. It's really one of my personal favorite. I love it. <laughs> All right. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye. Oh, I broke something.